Hello, my YouTube friends. It's me, your old buddy Magnum. Glad you stopped by. It's the end of the week, the start of the weekend, and time for our Friday Favorites show. I hope you'll stick around because I think you're going to like this one. Alrighty, today's Friday Favorites is television shows, and I'm talking about TV shows from your childhood. And uh, depending on how old you are, this, uh, this video could include a lot of different uh, age groups and a lot of different shows from different decades. So. Uh, Mine is going to go back to the 1950s, so I hope uh, I hope some of you are old enough to remember this. I I thought quite a bit about this, and of course during that era there was you know the Mickey Mouse Club, which was I watched uh, religiously. There was uh, I Love Lucy, which was a great show that lasted many many years, and. Uh, several others, but the one that comes to mind as my all-time favorite is The Adventures of Superman. I watched it every day uh, and I was just glued to the television set. Anyway, I wanted to tell you a little a brief story about uh, one of the particular episodes and what it enticed me to do. Uh, there's one episode, which is probably my favorite, called Jungle Devil. And this episode involved uh, a group of scientists that went to this uh, island to do a study of the natives that live there. And Perry White at the Daily Planet found out about this expedition, so he decided to send Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen to do a story about the scientists and about the uh, island natives. So when, when Jimmy and uh, Clark and Lois arrive, they learn that the scientists are in captivity because the island chief uh, claims that the lady in the expedition stole one of the diamonds out of their big stone God uh, that had two diamonds for eyes. Well, Clark uh, talked to her and she said that she was just, you know, looking at it and the diamond fell out and she thought that it fell into the quicksand pool that was right in front of the statue. So, uh, to make a long story short, Clark said, well, let me see if I can reach into the quicksand and maybe find it. About that time, a voiceover comes on talking about diamonds. And he says that a diamond is a form of the carbon atom. It is formed from carbon after being subjected to millions of tons of pressure for thousands of years. So, Clark looks around and he finds a, a chunk of coal and he puts it in his hand and he sticks his hand and is up to his elbow down in this quicksand and oh wait the, the voiceover had, hadn't come on yet as as Clark is squeezing this piece of coal the voiceover comes on and, and tells about all the pressure and all the years that it takes to make a diamond so Clark's squeezing away on the chunk of coal and after the voiceover guy gets through Clark pulls his hand out opens it up and there is a beautiful big diamond with like 23 facets chopped into it. I mean, it looks like it's already cut. And it's the perfect size to fit into the island god's eye socket. So, that was the episode, and uh, I hope I haven't spoiled it for you. But anyway, after that show was over, I thought about that, and I thought about it. And I remembered that I had seen 
a bag of charcoal briquettes out in the garage that my dad used for our barbecue. And there were also some bricks out in the backyard that, my, that were left over from when my uncle built our fireplace in our family room. So my, my wheels were turning up here and I thought, okay, that, that'll work. So I went out in the backyard and I got a couple of bricks and I took them downstairs to the basement where my dad had enlarged our basement by cutting a hole in the concrete wall excavating the dirt and putting some concrete block walls and a roof and gutters and all that and built a workshop. So he had a big workbench there. So I put the bricks on the workbench and I went back up into the garage and I got the charcoal briquettes. I got two charcoal briquettes. And I went back downstairs and I set the charcoal briquettes very carefully on the workbench. And then I took one brick and I balanced it on top of those briquettes. And I took the other brick and I balanced it on top of that and I thought, well, that was maybe enough pressure to turn these briquettes into diamonds. So I'd go down every day and check on them because I was about like seven years old at the time. I would check on them every day and then uh, after about a week or so, uh, I went downstairs with my dad and, and he went into the workbench and he looked at my diamond making apparatus here and he says uh, tell me what, what is this Michael and I told him that I was <laughs> I was going to transform those charcoal briquettes into diamonds because diamonds are made out of coal or carbon and uh, all it takes is a little bit of weight and a little bit of time and my dad uh, I mean he had some work he needed to do on the workbench but instead of just you know raking them off onto the floor, he, he said, well, do you think it's going to take much longer? <laughs> and uh, I said, I don't know, it said like a thousand years. And he said, well, he says, I really need to, I really need to do some work here on the bench, but he says, if, if you know, if we, we can wait a while. And I said, no, no, let me just move them. I, I can put them back later. So I, I moved them out of the way, and uh, he went ahead and did what he had to do. And I don't think I ever put them back, but uh, that's just kind of a story about how my dad was. He, I mean, a lot of a lot of fathers, and most of the fathers that uh, of the kids I knew were in the construction trades: plumbers, bricklayers pipe fitters, electricians, roofers, framers, that kind of thing. Uh, a, a lot of them would have just raked it out of the way and said, get out of here with that, I got some work to do. But my dad was different. He, he was uh, probably one of the most intelligent men I've ever known and uh, just extremely patient. And he didn't want to spoil my experiment here. And he said that we'll just wait. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the end of that story, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And so what I'd like you to do is hop into your Wayback Machine and go back in time and remember the television shows that you watched as a kid uh, back when you were in elementary school. And just leave a comment about it. You can make a comment as long as you want. I don't care. I'll, I'll read the whole thing. And just tell us what your favorite television show was and what your favorite episode was, if you remember. So I think that's it for now. Until I speak with you again, and even after that, stay focused.